I'm Dee Asher. This teacher guide is about our Mindset Learn series of lessons on cycles in the biosphere. In this guide, we tell you what the series of lessons is about and how it links to the curriculum. We also discuss ideas for using the lessons with your learners. You may want to make notes, so have pencil and paper ready. There are eight lessons in the series in which we investigate the water cycle and the nitrogen cycle. We show how the hydrosphere, atmosphere and lithosphere are connected and provide the conditions required to support life. This series of lessons links to the core knowledge strand of chemical systems. We have chosen to address the themes of global cycles and the hydrosphere. In this series, we have focused on the environment as our context for learning. We have addressed assessment standards related to all three learning outcomes in this series, but have strongly emphasized the impact of science and technology on the environment. The learning outcome and assessment standards for each lesson are stated at the beginning of each video lesson in the series. In addition, lesson outcomes linked to these are also given for each lesson. In this series, we have focused on the relationship between science and the environment. We identify different processes happening in the environment and then use our knowledge of chemistry to explain why these processes support life on Earth. We also examined the impact of human activity on the biosphere. Hopefully, learners will become more aware of the environmental issues by engaging with the series. The success of these video lessons depends on the way you use them in your classroom. We suggest that you watch the lessons yourself as part of your planning. Decide which videos you will use and think about how to integrate them into your learning program. To get the full benefit of the lessons, your learners need to engage actively with the concepts presented. So, when you preview the videos, think about how to introduce each lesson and what follow-up activities will be useful. Also watch out for places in the video where you could pause to have a class discussion or ask learners to complete an activity or solve a problem posed in the video. We have used this pause icon to suggest some of these places to you. As you watch each lesson, make a note of materials and other resources you might need to bring to the class. Assessment is an important part of teaching and learning and the lessons provide opportunities for a range of different types of assessment. When you pause the video for learners to do an activity, you can assess their understanding of key ideas in the video and adjust your lesson plan if necessary. The task provided at the end of each lesson is always linked to at least one of the lesson outcomes and thus provides you with a useful assessment opportunity. In this first lesson, we start by identifying the atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere. Huge global cycles connect these regions so that they can work together to support life on Earth. Our first focus is to identify the regions where water is found on Earth. We conclude that there is actually only a very small percentage of fresh water available to support both plant and animal life. In lesson two, we show that the water molecule has some very unique features. These microscopic features give water its special macroscopic properties. In this lesson, we conduct a number of simple experiments to illustrate these special properties. The task also requires learners to investigate and explain water's ability to act as a solvent. The reason human and animal life has survived on Earth with so little fresh water is because of the water cycle. We start our investigation of the water cycle by having a closer look at processes taking place in rivers. We focus on the way fresh water in rivers dissolves salts from rocks. We show how this simple process supports life. In fact, without water's ability to dissolve both salts and gases, life would not be possible. We also conduct an investigation to show how the nervous system of animals depends on a solution's ability to conduct electricity. The focus in Lesson 4 is some of the energy transfers that take place during the water cycle. We investigate how heat affects the evaporation, the condensation and the density of a body of water. In Lesson 5, we focus on water resources in South Africa. 
This is an extremely scarce resource and it needs to be well managed, but this does not always happen. Water is often wasted or is polluted without careful thought. We compare this to the attitude of the San people who showed great respect for water. To help learners develop a good attitude towards water, we look at water legislation to highlight both our rights and responsibilities. The task for this lesson requires learners to monitor water consumption and find ways to save water. The atmosphere has a very important role to play in supporting life on Earth. In Lesson 6, we identify the gases that make up the atmosphere and examine their properties and uses. We also show the importance of photosynthesis and the greenhouse effect and how human activity has upset the delicate balance that supports life. Lesson 7 focuses on the ways in which nitrogen is converted into other more useful compounds. These compounds can then be absorbed by plants and passed on to animals. Nitrogen is not only converted to compounds in nature, but in industry too. We examine the Haber process and show how ammonia can be used to make nitric acid and ammonium nitrate, found in fertilizers. In our final lesson in this series, we present arguments to show the usefulness of nitrogen and nitrogen compounds, but also show how human activities have resulted in an increase in nitrogen compounds that have had a negative effect on the environment. The task at the end of this lesson requires learners to develop their own arguments and to present these in a debate. There is a set of lesson notes for this video series on our website. These notes give a summary of the key points of each lesson and the tasks and suggested task answers. More detailed teacher support for this series, including additional ideas for assessing your learners' progress toward the assessment standards, is also available on the website. We hope this teacher guide has given you a useful overview to the series and will help you to use the mindset resources when introducing cycles in the biosphere. Goodbye. Yeah.